what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel appreciate you tuning in so i'm going to show you how to scrape thousands of jobs in five minutes no bs this is what we do on behalf of our staffing and recruitment clients if you run a staffing and recruitment firm yourself you can use this as a tutorial if you run a lead generation agency or anything of the sort you can use this as a tutorial as well for your clients without further ado let's get into it so you're going to go to linkedin jobs obviously and you're going to you're going to input the job title Hopefully you've done the upfront work of figuring out what jobs you will profit from most and which jobs are most appropriate for you based on your ideal client profile. So I put in software engineer just as a very popular example and set up all the filters as you'd wish, including experience level. I like to sort this by most recent. You can also sort it by most relevant job type. I i'm playing with easy apply right now i'm leaving I, i've scraped both off and on really just whatever gets you the most results because if you're sending cold email it's about volume remote hybrid or on site all these things to consider and very important is salary level so once you have that down pat you're going to copy this url i know you can't see that but i'm just telling you to copy the url by the way make sure the search looks aligned because if you type in software engineer for example it's going to show you a lot of relevant roles not just software engineers, but closely tied roles to that. Now you're going to go to Apify. So Apify.com, that's A-P-I-F-Y.com. It will look like, here, I'll just take you to the very beginning. It'll look like this. You're going to make an account if you don't have one already. If you do, you're going to hit go to console on the top right. Let me just make sure this is recording. Yes, it is. All right, good. And of course it lagged on me. Here we are. So next you're going to go to the Apify store. You're going to type in LinkedIn job. And you're going to have a bunch of different options for scrapers. These are going to help you automatically scrape everything in that search. All the jobs on LinkedIn. Full disclosure of a very important thing to note is that you can only scrape 1000 jobs at a time from LinkedIn. So you're going to have to scrape it in batches if you're scraping more than 1000 jobs, not the end of the world. Very easy to do because you can scrape 1000 jobs in seconds. Here for this search, I have 567 results. So you're gonna go to Apify, you're gonna choose any one of these. I like this guy right here, Curious Coder. He makes a lot of really good scrapers. I've been using the one in the top middle right here. But um, I'm, I'm experimenting with this one right here on the top right. It's because I like the pricing model better. It's a thousand. It's one dollar per one thousand results, which is really good because that means a search with five hundred results is going to cost me fifty cents. I'd pay that all day. Next, you're going to go here and you're going to paste in the search URL, and you can add in multiple search URLs as well. But again, a thousand jobs at a time. Now, I like to turn on scrape company details. I like, I like to scrape as much data as possible and then sort it out later in clay. You can leave this blank if you want to scrape the entire search. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to limit it to five jobs scraped. Oh, so it should be greater and equal to 100. All right, well, let's just uh, put that at 100 and then I'll stop it early. And then this, I would leave it as is, but I would turn on no timeout and then uh, let's put this here. I'm going to set my limit, but you can leave this blank for yourself. Then you're going to hit save and start. And I'm going to stop this early. So it'll look like this. At this point, I would go and just, I don't know, maybe make a quick coffee or something like that. And it's going to start scraping these jobs, as you can see, with the company LinkedIn URL. You know, if there's benefits, how many employees are in the company, which you can all use all this information to filter the company name, even the company slogan, the uh, the job description and the position title, the industry as well. So you can remove any staffing or recruitment firms if you want to go directly to the actual company that's hiring uh, the job department, who posted the actual job. So the recruiter or the HR person and their title as well if you want to avoid them or reach out directly to them or it'll help you find their email address Again, the job position title itself all this fun stuff all right 
So I'm going to abort it here, but normally you would just wait for that to finish scraping and then I would export this. And at this point I would just download all the columns to be quite honest with you. As a CSV, by the way, very important. Whoops. You just hit download and there you go. I'm not going to input this into clay because it's going to lag, but you, it would just give you a, a CSV file here. Here's what we'll do. We'll import it into Google Sheets just so you can kind of see the kind of data you can get and then I'll leave it up to imagination or I'll let you leave it up to imagination. So import, upload, let's drop this in. It's not even the right Google account. And then we'll replace the spreadsheet. Yeah, we'll just replace it. All right, so um, normally I would just import this into Clay. However, for the purposes of just showing you what's here, this is the kind of information that you would get. It's pretty good. So it's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right, 37 columns, which is great. And it looks like there's very little fluff here. It even gives you the salary. I, I counted the columns because in clay, you have a limit of 100 columns that you can drag in. So I'm probably just going to start using this scraper. The, the date the job was posted at. This is awesome. Yeah, this might have just become my new favorite scraper. Job description. So you can use, you can scan these job descriptions using ChatGPT and then filter out for like the top skills and then use that as personalization in the copy. So it gives you the direct, the, the position of the, of the, not the hiring manager, but the person We'll call it the hiring manager, but like the recruiter for the role who may or may not be the most appropriate contact. And then we can find their email address using Clagent or ChatGPT. Information technology, job poster name. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to get their email address. I have a prompt in ChatGPT that I use. But anyway, that's my process. So it, it literally takes you less than five minutes. I hope that helps everyone. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.